just got to make sure he doesn't catch anything at all, then he has it. Well, he leads the Greens in regulation. And he's hit another one. It's a similar line. Just a little bit better distance control, so... Certainly left to right to start with. Well, the pace was excellent, but it did exactly the same as our now, since it just drifted right to left at the whole side. Uh, yeah, just to the bottom of the slope, it'll feed back a couple of feet, but he knows he wanted to hit that a fraction further up there. Big part here for Garcia to save par. Just can't buy a putt at the moment. That's going to be his third three putt of the tournament. Anytime you have three putts, a player feels like they're giving more than the extra shot away. Needs to find a little bit of magic. Just something to turn his game around today. Give himself a little bit of confidence. Not the ideal place to be. Does it come here? The thing is with golf, you never know where your birdie's going to come. They might come in the first five holes, they might come in the last five. Just thinking, not dissimilar from your colour range so far today and this week in the box. Very colourful. Just not his day right now. Right on line. A roll of the golf ball short. However, it will be his first birdie today. Got to make this. Just made a birdie on the previous hole and he's given it away at the next. Just been one of those days where he's been a fraction out on so many shots. It's a good recovery. It's going right through a gap. Where's the gap here? sees a gap there, that's going to be a miracle shot, that is going to be one of the best shots of the day, no question about that, how did he find a hole? Yeah. What a birdie, what a birdie, you would never have given him any chance at all off the tee shot. What was it you said? You never know when your birdies are going to come. It was you, wasn't it, Warren? Yeah, you never know, do you? <laughs> bite, bite. Well, almost a carbon copy of yesterday, right over the centre of the tree with a big high fade. Lots of green to work with. Should stop moving off his left when it lands. Very impressive bunker shot, the last nearly as good. There's just yeah. 
frustration much. for Garcia. That's a disappointing day in the end. It looked like he could salvage it with the birdies at 16 and 17. But he's going to start the final round a long way back, Garcia. It was a rough day today, obviously. Good fight back at 16 and 17. There's only five guys in front of you. How do you attack tomorrow with only five in front? Ah, more of the same. I mean, there's, there's not much there's not much else I can do. I mean, I, um, I, I don't know how to explain to shoot 73 the way I hit the ball. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. But... You know, that's the way sometimes uh, golf goes. It's it's simple as that. Uh, the only thing I can do is go out there tomorrow, play uh, as well as I've been playing every every single day. And, you know, hopefully uh, everything that has been going wrong goes right. If not, we'll, we'll try to finish as high as possible. But, you know, it's disappointing because uh, I feel like you know, I hit so many good shots and, and I'm, getting, I'm getting nothing out of them. But, you know, that's where it is. Looked like the greens dried out as the day went on. How much did that change through the round? Yeah, it definitely, they definitely did. But then, but it was funny because they still had some spots that were soft, you know. Like for example, on the first hole, I backed it up with with a three-quarter sandwich. On on nine, I hit a pitching wedge and it, it backed up four yards. Uh, but then you were hitting sandwiches that were bouncing eight yards forward. So uh, you obviously had to you obviously had to hit a good shot and, and bounce it in the right spot uh, if you wanted to hit it somewhere close to the hole. Um, but I mean, we knew it was gonna, we knew it was gonna play difficult. We knew that uh, as the as the week went on, uh, the course was gonna get tougher and, and the greens were gonna get firmer. And um, you know, unfortunately, I just uh, I just didn't get anything. Going for three in a row at this moment, as I said, there's five in front of you, but you're eight behind the lead. Will you go out there and just be really aggressive, or will you just try and let it come to you tomorrow? No, I'm just gonna play the same way I've been playing. You know, I'm I'm playing I'm playing very well. I'm feeling like I'm playing very well. So. Um, that's that's the only thing I can do. Uh, it's as simple as that. And um, and then you know if you have one of those days where everything seems to get going and and you know the pads instead of lipping out they lip in and uh, you know you um, you kind of you feel like you can't do anything wrong, then maybe you have a chance. If not, uh, it's going to be uh, obviously difficult. All right. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Well, it's a complicado. Realmente. A ver, yo no sé si estabas en el campo, pero no he fallado ni un golpe los nueve primeros y he hecho tres más. Eh, es así de sencillo. Hay veces que las cosas eh, cuando no quieren salir, no quieren salir. Yo lo único que puedo hacer es eh, estar ahí, intentar pegar los mejores, los mejores golpes posibles y, y esperar que las cosas salgan como, como yo creo que, que pueden salir. ¿no? Eh, desafortunadamente eh, se no ha sido el día hoy. Eh, a pesar de que he pegado muchos golpes muy buenos, eh, pues no, no ha querido salir, los, los pads que he tirado bien no, no han querido entrar eh, y, y bueno, pues con lo, con lo complicado que se está poniendo el campo, con, los, con lo duro que se están poniendo los bienes, obviamente si, 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 nada, si nada pasa a tu favor es, es complicado hacer, hacer resultado aunque juegues muy muy bien. Te cuentas por algunos golpes muy buenos que sí que, que, sí que te he visto, sobre todo la recuperación del 16 y, y sobre todo el 17 también. No, pero he pegado muchísimo. He pegado, sí, sí. Dos, he pegado dos golpes más en todo el día. El, el, el segundo golpe, el 18, y, y, el, y el, la, salida del, la salida del 12, eh, que me ha molestado una avispa justo cuando, le está, justo cuando le está pegando. Aparte de eso, realmente no te puedo decir que haya fallado, fallado, eh, no te puedo decir que haya fallado ningún golpe. Obviamente, pues sí, los, los podía dejar más cerca, pero bueno, eh, es lo que te decía, ¿no? Cuando los bienes están así de duros... A pesar, a, además de pegar buen golpe, tienes que botarla en el sitio exacto eh, para que te reaccione como tú crees. Eh, obviamente, si, si tú la pegas creyendo que la bola va a frenar y no se frena, al hoyo siguiente crees que no se va a frenar y se frena, es, es, eh, es complicado. Pero bueno, hay que, hay que seguir. Mañana, mañana pues seguiremos, eh, esperemos jugar igual de bien. Eh, yo la verdad es que eso es lo más positivo, ¿no? Me siento que, que estoy jugando, le estoy pegando muy bien a la bola. Eh, estoy tirando, la verdad es que bastante buenos pads y... Y bueno, pues desafortunadamente no está, no está queriendo salir la cosa, pero bueno, a ver si sale mañana. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click up here.